All right, guys. So obviously, or well, I hope so, that you already know what this thing is. A multimeter. Now, this thing has the capability to be able to measure different things. In between, we are able to measure resistance. We're able to test diodes. We're able to test direct current or DC, AC, amperage, milliamps, and DC and AC, hertz, and capacitance. You have different features in this specific model. There's different areas where you can actually hook it up. Uh, normally you hook up, well not normally, always you hook up your common or your com on the negative side. Because with this one is the, the one that you're actually able to get some reference ground when you're testing. When you want to be measuring all these things, including continuity, hertz, volts, resistance, uh, checking diodes, you hook up your positive leave on this side. They actually made it color coded, black to black, red to red. But in the event that you want to be measuring 10 amps maximum on a circuit or certain amount of milliamps, which is a very small measurement of amperage, then you hook up your red lead that normally sits here into this connection or this connection, okay? So the different features. Right now we're gonna go, go over to what we use mainly in the automotive uh, uh, industry, which is DC, up until we get into electrical cars. Then we'll be using AC. So, right now it's giving me some random reading, okay? That is not necessarily normal, but it's not nothing to be surprised either. So, I mean, I also, also I don't have the, the cram of la cram of meter, you know? I don't have a fluke. I have a, I don't even know what brand this is. I probably picked up this somewhere on a, on a parts store. So anyway, I'm gonna hook up my negative lead and my positive lead. And I'm gonna always make sure that they are in good shape. They're not heavily kinked or kinked. They are not broken, there's no breaks. And they not, they're nothing showing. You know, we don't wanna be making ourselves a fire hazard. So anyway, and here's where you actually have your leads. Now do you notice that they have little lines in here? These things are not only to be able to um, lock in place if you're in a tight spot, but also it's to be able to put something like this part of the lead. It allows you to just cover the area you're going to be testing, okay? Certain testers will have this, some other will, will not. So, anyway, going back to... So, for example, if I want to measure resistance, I'll go in here. And then you, in this specific meter, you will give you a auto, okay? Auto means that it is in the auto range, which in that case, as soon as it measures certain amount of resistance, it will self-scale, okay? But if I go to range, now it's in mega ohms, now it's in ohms, now it's in kilo ohms, and that's all I get. It gets milli ohms as well. So as soon as I start, you know, selecting, well, it actually is not gonna go back to auto. So I'll go back here, auto, okay? Now, voltage. When you see this symbol, it is DC, okay? When you see this symbol, it's AC. AC is the one that powers your house, for example, or the one that powers electric motors in any application, mainly alternating current motors. Um, and then on this is DC which is the 99% of uh, not so modern and halfway modern vehicle will have in their circuitry, okay? 
uh, it will use inverters to change to alternating current in certain things alternators will have a signal coming out of AC becoming DC after it goes to the bridge um, diode bridge etc so anyway basic 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 application on only two out of huh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten different fe features that it has plus the hold the duty cycle the range and the reset so anyway that is one version of a, a meter oh and also a good feature to always check that when you connect your leads when you're checking resistance good leads will have zero what happens if the leads they have more than zero then whatever reading that you have to that you're doing with that meter you have to subtract or add most likely you have to subtract because if you have some resistance that will be a positive value and in order to get to zero then you have to subtract whatever reading with the amount of uh, resistance that you had originally with your leads so anyway that is one and here's another variation of this this is made by commercial electric i have no clue if this is a fairly good or fairly bad i uh i have certain bias to the fluke equipment and i do not own one i would love to own one they are very uh, professional and very sensitive piece of equipment but anyway this one has all these other features you see the symbol right here alternating current 10 amps direct or dc amperage then it has all these different settings for resistance and if you see here you have continuity on the lowest setting checking diodes battery testing and voltage direct DC okay so if you notice this one will not give us to check amperage in uh, AC alternate current interesting right here but anyway um, here it is same thing you have a, a common then you can check voltage uh, milliamps volts through here and then if you want to be checking a circuit that it has up to 10 amps because it's fused then you go through here and that will be where you're setting up this so anyway a different meter different application if you see this one doesn't have an auto meter this will have to be checked or moved to set for the proper uh, amount of voltage that you are checking okay so 1.2 to take in here it will beep at you so anyway two meters I cannot tell you which one is better or worse I guess I will be biased with this because as we as lazy technicians we like to work our mind and work smart so you, the less work that you have to do additional to the regular stuff then you can use this one but it is what it is I mean if you have access to this then you adapt to this it doesn't doesn't matter okay anyway volt meters now we'll go over uh, I want to get to get you guys with uh, the oscilloscopes so Anyway, we'll be doing some testing using this meter or this, and uh, we'll continue on. Welcome to this new modality of teaching. I'd rather you guys having put putting your filthy hands on these things, but I guess uh, for the time being, you can actually figure out how to do it on your own. Also, it would be a good idea to get yourself one of these things for your own. So you start making basic testing these things they have certain limitations but still they have a lot of good stuff that you can actually check by using this all right guys this is Edgar and or Mr. V and uh, I am uh, recording from EVG Lone Star 
and this will be one of the series of videos that I will be making for you guys and uh, if you can always get the equipment that is the best quality possible don't get the cheapy stuff the cheapy stuff will work maybe a couple times and then it breaks obviously if you want to go with these guys for example uh, yeah you're gonna pay a uh, pretty penny so be mindful and buy whatever you can afford but it's not the bottom of the barrel but also uh, something good all right guys i will talk to you later bye